making our first purchase. This is the guy who sold us the, uh, the camper right there. We're pulling up to a spot to show you what we're about to uh, to pick up. Uh, check this out, guys. Best RV center here in Turlock, California. Watch out, park it in front. Service sales park. Ooh, park right in front. Baby's here. We're parking in shade. This little shade here too. Let's go straight in. All right. We can park here. that we've talked about is not really too too much uh, too too hard to understand all this is the control on the inside that's going to be your water heater it's a it's a DSI system it's a direct spark ignition we'll talk about that when we get in there that is your power cord uh, that does come with you so make sure you're using the surge protector and you knew you do need to get one adapter uh, a 30 to a 15 amp okay that'll be to the house plug so you can charge your batteries and prep your refrigerator before you go out camping you want to plug your trailer in a day or two before you go out before you plan on going out okay. so that way you can charge your batteries up let your fridge cool down Making sure everything is ready to go, okay? Is um, it ready to go if you were to go like next weekend? Yeah, 100%. Okay. I worked on this myself, so it's ready to go right now. Um, other than that, this is going to be the low point drains we talked about. Make sure you drain those out for storage. Now, you also have stabilizer jacks, okay? We're going to talk about that real quick. So leveling your trailer is going to be side to side with the tires. So you do have to get leveling blocks and level the low side, not both sides, okay? So if you park it to a spot, right, and you get out before you unhook from your car, get out and you look at it, and you can see it automatically, you can see just by looking at it, it's leaning one way. You're gonna put the leveling blocks on that side. Yeah. You know, the side is leaning, but not the other side. Okay, then when you unhook, front to back with the tongue jack, okay? That's why I say switching out to an electric one is a lot, a lot easier. easier. Yeah. It makes things Cranking a, it. Yes, yes. Plus, it, it actually gives it more, more leg. There's more leg on the electric one. Okay? Nice. Um, other than that, once you're level, you do side to side first, front to back, okay? The factory, you can see, doesn't put uh, bubble levels on. It'll be up to you to do to put bubble levels on or use a contractor's level, a regular level. Um, but your stabilizer jacks are right here. You gotta make sure these are down. You have them all four corners, okay? There's a crank handle that comes with the, the, the little trailer for you to use that, or you can get a three quarter inch socket and a drill and use that. But you never wanna level your trailer with those. Those are just for stabilizers so you yeah. don't feel like you're on a boat, okay? okay. All right, uh, now, and I use a little quarter here, and this is the main entrance to your fridge, and this is how you're gonna use your fridge. Um, so you have to come out here, which is good because you don't have to open it up to turn it on mm. until it's cold, then you can put your stuff in here. So if you wanna come here, we can look at this with so there, this is actually a three-way refrigerator, okay? So in other words, you have three modes, three, three ways to run this, okay? Uh, one being 12 volt, that'll be strictly off batteries, okay? That's why I say if you're going off grid a lot, get a, get a, get a uh, portable solar panel so that we can always run this on 12 volt and your batteries never go dead, okay? This green one is a 120, so that's the... Generator? That, no, that's the... Well, I mean generator, the... yeah, technically it would be generator plug-in power. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, it's just if you're plugged in, just like we are now, you're going to use the green one, okay? okay? Um, driving down the road, you can use, either use uh, the 12 volt or the propane side of it. But this is the propane side, and this is actually where it lights up here. And you spark it here, you turn it to high, push it here, and you spark it, just like that. Okay, so you have three ways to run it. Um, with you having the three ways to run it, I probably won't even use the propane side on my fridge, just because I have the 12 volt, you know what I'm saying? So that way there's no flame lit in here. How long does that normally last? Uh, the propane? Uh, the 12 volt. Oh, uh, it depends on how, what you're using. Depends on what you're using inside the trailer. That's the only thing, because remember, you're gonna get the water inside the unit. So, uh, depending on the camping you're gonna be doing is, is how you're gonna put water in this trailer. So, either you're gonna be at full hookups, you're gonna go to city, okay? City water is when you have constant pressure coming into the trailer, and you need to make sure you're using a water pressure regulator or regu regulating the water coming into this, okay? Because um, if not, you're gonna have constant pressure, and eventually it's gonna blow the tax lines. So, you need to make sure you're using a water pressure regulator at the source, which will be at the spigot. And make sure you're using a filter too, because you never know what kind of water supply you'll yeah. get. Uh, the only thing that should be here is your water hose. Okay? Uh, you do have to use a drink of water hose, uh, not a garden hose. Garden hose tastes like garden hose. Drink of water hose is a different material, and it's going to taste a lot better. Okay. Um, other than that, this is your sink drain. So what I would do is I'd probably go to Walmart tonight, or you know, within the next week, and I'd buy myself a little garden hose, and I would twist it here, and I would put it off. Yeah, it's going to go off into the bush because you're not going to do your dishes in here like you would at home. 
Um, this is mainly just going to be washing hands, washing yeah. the dishes off. This is where it's going to drain out of. You have to have this open. If not, it's going to fill up the sink. Okay. Um, other than that, we'll keep that open. And that's a standard hose. Like yeah, regular five eighths, I believe, is what it is. Um, now, this is the this is the tank fill. So that's the gravity fill there. So if you're going to fill your tank, uh, by the way, this one and this one will share the same hose. This one will have its own. Okay. Um, now the drinking water hose. If you're going to go off grid, uh, you're going to put water into the to the unit. And you're going to put it here. Okay. Um, there is a water pump built into the unit. All you got to do is turn it on. You build your own water pressure up from the tank. Okay. Uh, and we'll show you that inside too. Uh, but other than that, um, and that's six gallons. No, that's a little more than that. So it's different from this. That's uh, different than that. That's just the water heater being six oh, gallons. Okay. I think this is probably going to be close to like twenty around there. Oh wow. Uh, but yeah, if, and then and the best thing is if you run out of water when you're dry camping and you don't have a water source, you have a jugs of water, you can literally dump jugs of water in it, which is nice. That's why they call it a gravity fill, okay? Uh, this one here, hot, cold, and the shower head, got a little pause button. When you're dry camping, you need to conserve your water, right? So you just pause it instead of turning it, turn it off while you're soaping up. How far does it come out? Oh, it comes through? out really far. I just don't... You'll see a lot of the times that people will wrap it up like this. I don't like it because it looks, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. But it pulls out like about that far. Okay. Okay. And of course, uh, like um, Ozark Trail, which is Walmart's brand, they sell like a little tent you can buy. But we have a Do stand you? up. Yeah, we tent got it. Oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, we got it, it works we got out it. Then. Yeah, just about prepared. everything. Yeah, that's awesome. We just need a camper. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah, so cool. Yeah, so, um, so it works out. Yeah. Other than that, just make sure when you're dry camping, you conserve your water. If you're hooked up the city, you, that's water you've already paid for. It's constant pressure coming in, so you don't have to pause it. You don't have to do anything. Okay. It's just only when you're off grid. All right. Um, other than that, uh, this is just the, the exhaust for the AC, okay? And these are condensation drains, so every now and again you'll see that dumping out water. It's not. Okay. This is your little storage. There's a slide out. There's a little hole here, so you just put that in my pocket and fly out, okay? Uh, other than that, so, if, if you want, you can bring a baby and cut up and just Daniel. Oh, okay. Oh, like the one we have, babe, when you did the smaller, the smaller one. Um, now, other than that, this is just the latches for when you're, when you're locking this, okay? And then, uh. This is the table? Yes. What is that uh, cord and everything? That's in? a heated bed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Your bed, your bed heated. Here's the thing we don't put the water filters in because the trailer's uh, winterized. Okay. We have to flush it out. We don't want that to be Except for you to use the hose from your interior, I still recommend the exterior water filters, okay? okay? I cannot stress that enough. There's your crank handle for your stabilizer jacks. There's a little uh, spatula for the doodle. Uh, it's Ford's Rivers logo, so you know, it comes with all that. And that table that actually goes here, that sits next to the uh, griddle. griddle so. Yeah. I seen that online, I was like, oh, I didn't know it came with all that. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually, because the propane line goes out the propane on the front. Yeah. Okay, um, other than that, you got one tins. And then this is your radio antenna. This is the speaker controlled by the radio on the inside. And I'll show you that when we get in here. Mm -hmm. A little porch light. And they, the reason why this is amber because it, it keeps bugs away. That's what they say. Uh, but if a bug wants to light, it's going to go away. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, the um, put this in here. Okay? And then now the only thing i got to show you is just how to close it down when we're done on the inside. So we can all go in there. It's fine. I have the wheels truck. Yes. Okay. Um, other than that, the USBs. The USBs are actually going to run on the batteries, so you'll be able to charge your phone at nighttime without using uh, your generator. Okay, but remember, any 110 outlet, like uh, you'll have one right next to your leg there, it's a GFCI. You see it right above the breaker and piece oh, okay. panel. That one you have to be plugged in or have a generator. Okay. Um, now this is actually the thermostat for the AC and the furnace. It's literally the easiest one. It's a light light tap, so you can see it's on high, and I'm running it at 55 degrees. Um, and it's pretty true to that. So and and 90 is for the furnace. That's a, um, off, that's a high. We keep it on auto just because once it reaches temperature, it just like a house, it shuts off, okay? Um, and then if you push both of these at the same time, it's gonna go to Celsius. We don't go off Celsius, so you mm -hmm. kinda just push it back to normal, okay? All right, uh, ceiling lights are here, floor lights are here, and the Wi-Fi booster is there. That's a Wi-Fi Ranger, so it's not self-efficient Wi-Fi. All it is is this Wi-Fi that's already existing and it's giving you a better connection to it. Yeah. Like KOAs, they have Wi-Fi, so that's when that'll come into play. You just connect to it here, and then it'll pop up another screen, and then you just connect to that Wi-Fi that's there. Uh, you have only one speaker on the inside of the trailer. Oh, no, you have two. There's one over there, too. Um, so one there, one here. This is actually going to be where the radio is. Let me make sure it's not loud. Is it Bluetooth capability? Yes. Yeah. So, of course, we're out of the day and age where we use CDs. <laughs> um, so you have Bluetooth, USB. There's an HDMI um, and auxiliary, too, as well. But... Let me find the station real quick. 
So, you know, YouTube University helps as well, but if you're out somewhere where you have no phone service, it's your first resource. You know what I'm saying? So keep that around. Okay. All right. Um, that's an emergency exit there. I pray to God you don't have to use it. Just use it as a regular window, too. You just slide it open, but you can move the screen if you have to get out, okay? So now, kick, kick out? <laughs> no, actually, you just slide it. You, literally, oh, that window, you jump right through that window. Yeah, the whole screen slides with it if you pull the screen. Yeah. Right there, here, like this. Yeah, let me, I guess I'll show you that just in case. Huh? And then if you need to actually get out, you can just grab the screen and slide it back. But you can actually pop the screen completely off. In like that situation, you can replace that window. You can't replace a light. Yeah. So, um, now, you see right there by your lake? So the switch? Yeah. That's your water pump. Only have that on when you're dry camping, when you want to use the tank water. So the water that I have in the tank right now, if I want to use it, that has to be on. You can open up the sink and you can actually check the pressure. Keep it on for a minute. Keep it on just a second. Cause you're gonna hear the pump kick on. You hear it? Mm. Okay. So all that's gonna do is just gonna give you that, you know, a little pressure out of that tank, so it gives you better, you know, better water. Okay. But here's the thing: if you're on city, if you're on city water, you got to keep that switch off because you're not drawing from the tank, and you're gonna burn the motor out on that pump. You're actually getting city water coming in, right? So you're gonna keep that off and not use that. It's only for dry camping, that water pump. Okay. Um, other than that, um, right down by you. Is actually uh, the water heater. Actually, if you want to turn the water, the hot water on, you should have hot water. Yeah. Is it hot? It's getting warm. Okay. Give it a yeah, second. It should be. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Okay. Should how, be much, hot. how much of the tow capacity with it, uh, with the water and everything? With Think it? about it like this: If it's a 20-gallon tank, okay, um, multiply 8.2, 8.2 pounds by 20. So you're looking at like around. Just, you're probably looking at like 160, almost 180 pounds, I would say. More? No, but you got to think about the weight you have in here too. Your fridge that you have full. If you have clothes and everything. Yeah, yeah. What are you towing with anyways? No, MDX outside. Do you have brake control? 5,000 pounds. Brake control. You mean like stabilizers? No, no, no. Brake control. The it, All I know, it, it tows 5,000 pounds. And then it has a tow hitch on it that came with the car, so okay. I don't yeah, think it has tow control. Have brake control. If it doesn't have brake control, uh, we'll talk about that because that's uh, kind of important. These, these trailers have brakes, electric brakes, and um, if you have a seven way already, is yeah, there a seven way on the vehicle, yeah, okay, then it should be. Um, it should have something pre wired. Yeah. It should be pre wired for brake control. So if you don't have one, you might want to get one just because objects in motion must stay in motion. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you're going up the hills. What goes up must come back down, and if it's pushing you, that MDX is not a truck, you know, yeah. it's an SUV, it's going to keep pushing it, especially if you have a bunch of weight in you. So, uh, we'll go over that when we're done with our walkthrough, uh, but we definitely got to make sure that you're dialed in. If, if those seven-way plugs adapt to this one, to the car, will it slow down as well? Or is that that, that wire? No, no, no. All, so, what that does is it's giving you, so that seven-way that's on the trailer, all that's doing is just powering the lights, uh, the running lights, your turn signals, brake lights, all that stuff, and the brakes. But here's the thing, as of right now, if you don't have a brake control, all it's doing is just the lights, the yeah. running lights. So it's just gonna roll, basically. It's just, yeah. So, um, which, I mean, your car will stop it. It's not a big trailer, mm -hmm. 
but it's just the fact that eventually yeah. you're gonna. I mean, starting from the time you don't have brake control and you're towing this thing, you're gonna put wear and tear on your car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're just gonna your brakes, your rotors. You're dragging it, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, so I mean, it's not. It's something easy that we could do too. So if that's something you do want to do, we can get that thing care. But we gotta check that out because if not, if you don't end up getting it done from us, we gotta. I gotta get a waiver signed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that is something that your sales guy should have told you about. I think he did tell us, um, but you mentioned the outlet in the back of the car. We'll look. We'll look. Because, uh, you know, I work, I work on yeah. this stuff all day, man. Yeah. So I'll look to see if you need it or not. Um, if you do, I'll tell you. you know, I don't, I'm not selling food, so yeah. I, I literally hourly. So, but if you need it, you need it. You know, especially with the kids. You want to yeah, yeah. So, um, other than that, um, back down there, That this is the most important stuff here, that right where you're at. So let me slide this out of the way. So right there between your legs, that's going to be your furnace. Nope, next one. That's your oh. furnace. That's controlled here. Oh, and that's okay. where the hot air comes out. Okay? okay. The one next to you, the one that you touch first, that one, that is, if you push it right there in the middle, uh, no, I'm sorry, towards the top, but in the middle. There you go. That's your breaker and fuse panel. Okay? Everything is labeled for it. It's just like a house. The only thing that's different, it's got fuses because it's got 12 volts. That's the breaker. Yeah. Breaker, the whole yeah, breaker, fuses, the main yeah. brain for the whole trailer. Okay? And then uh, right right above that, you see that switch for the water heater? Uh, that one? Right here? Yeah, yeah, turn that off. Let's turn that off. We don't need that. There you go. That's off. Okay? Now, the one next to you is the main GSCI, the plug. That's to push the reset. So if outlets aren't working inside or outside, you go to there and reset. Just like at the house in the bathroom or in the kitchen. Now, uh, you see that one there? That alarm? That is an alarm for your carbon monoxide LP detector. Um, if you got gas leak, it'll either be coming from the uh, refrigerator or the stove, okay? Um, if you smell propane, you smell propane. That's obviously gonna be one or the other. But if you don't smell anything and that's going off, that's carbon monoxide, you gotta get out of this trail. Because that is, that is a it's too small of a trailer, and it is down low for a reason. Because if it was up high, you're already dead. If it's yeah. Okay. Um, so if that goes off in the middle of the night, it'll. By the way, that's hardwired to the batteries, so that will drain the batteries because it's always drawing. Okay? okay. So for storage, if you're not keeping your trailer plugged in all the time, you want to make sure you probably disconnect the batteries. Just 916 socket. You know, take it off. Pop it on. Yeah. yeah. Just just disconnect them. You can leave the batteries sitting there. Yeah. Okay. Because you don't want to set them on the floor of the garage. They'll ground out. Okay. Okay. All right, um, other than that, there is a lock on the fridge. Make sure it's locked when you're driving, because if not, your stuff will fly. Straight. There you go. Here. That's it. Um, other than that, that's that's it, honestly. Uh, this one under me has a storage. The one under you is not storage, okay? okay. Uh, that's where the water heater is, uh, the back of the uh, breaker and fuse panel, and the furnace, okay? Yeah. But this is the storage here, and right where you guys are, you can actually lift that bed up, and that's where that storage that's is back right there. Yeah. Okay, um, other than that, here's your keys. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, they didn't give you a nice little Best RV box. I'll make sure I give you one. A what? What's a, that? A Best RV box. It has a little pin and a Best RV keychain. Nice. It's just kind of janky to give it to you. Is it tough? But I'll go get you an uh, actual key ring. The only thing I got to talk about now is the stove. Um, the only thing about the stove is you do have to use a regular lighter to light it. Um, I do yes, not recommend. Or... Yeah, I do not recommend these little picks because you will burn yourself eventually. So get yourself one of those long barbecue lighters. Uh, but if you do use a big, light the big first, and then, you know what I'm saying, so that way you don't burn yourself. Uh, but it, they all do light up. If you run out of propane, you do have to bleed the tanks through, and all you're going to do is just open this up to you smell propane, turn it on, you're good to go. But this is, now, the outside grill, can we use a separate propane, or do yeah. we have to run it through the one in the no, front? No, you can, you can yeah. use a separate one, but you just got to make sure you get a, a fitting for this if it doesn't have that fitting already. For a regular pigtail, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like the regular yeah. piece coming yeah, yeah. from the barbecue. But can it use the small ones, the small camping oh, propane? No, 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 no. no, you're talking about the butane ones. Yeah. Yeah, no, not those no. ones. Okay. That's that's not. Uh, that'd be a Coleman. That, yeah. Not these ones, these ones are suburban. So this is all propane. This is actually what it looks like too. Oh, it's like a grill. No, it's a griddle. Like an actual, it's, a, oh, it's an actual uh, griddle. Is that the one we see inside? And tacos. Literally the best <laughs> risotto. I'm like telling you. It look, man, look. Nice. Oh, nice. So, and then this little hole here is actually where you scrape your grease into, and that's a grease catch. Nice. Because I have one of these in my backyard, nice. and I actually got one. We were planning to get uh, a griddle in the backyard. Uh, nice. About to do some uh, Asian cooking. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast. But other than that, yeah, this thing's actually pretty cool. Uh, before, they used to put these janky barbecuers in here. They were kind of shitty. They threw these ones in here this year. Or last year, they started doing this. And literally nobody complains at all. Nice. They don't bring them back. They don't break because they're sturdy. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's it. It is for outdoor use, so don't use it in the house. Okay. Right? Um, other than that, that's it. Cool. Congratulations. Now the only thing i got to do is show you guys how to close it down. Um, so to heat up the mattresses, how does that work? Oh, yeah. Just a button right here. Uh, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Lift, that, lift, the lift the cover up. No, no, not the whole mattress, just the blanket. 
Is there? A, there's no. There's no stick or tag over there. It's gonna be on this side. Uh, See that little plug? Okay. Oh, just plug it in there. And it's then... like grandma's old heated blanket. Ah, it's okay. 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 Uh, you weren't. You're not gonna use that anytime soon. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, it gets pretty freaking warm in here um, in the summertime. You don't have your AC on, but in the wintertime, if you are winter camping, that thing is gonna come in handy. Okay. There's no sleeping bags. It does. Don't worry, Daniel. Right. You guys can sleep there. We'll sleep on this side. <laughs> This is a bed too. <laughs> and then this, this, oh yeah, this does turn into a bed. <clears throat> that's the last thing I didn't talk about. This does turn into a bed. Uh, you can see it's like a regular folding table. Yeah. Fold the legs up and it'll actually sit down here. We're actually going to put it in the travel position. That is a travel position. But this pillow behind me and that pillow behind you will go across yeah. the top to make the bed. Um, other than that, that's, that's it. Nice. So okay. what we'll do now is just kind of prep it to get ready for travel, which is, um, find a place for this. We'll probably throw that in the compartment outside. Uh, then we'll put this in uh, position and then we'll start dropping walls down. I believe, uh, oh, by the way, if you look at the railings here, you can see it's all hinged all the way around, right? That means that everything has to be down to that level, okay? If not, it, it's going to get smashed, mm -hmm. okay? Um, what is this for? Is that just to hang? That's your, yeah, yeah the, shirt. The basket. Okay. It's, like I a, told it's like you. a little closet. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. Other than that, um, yeah, so this one. Get this out of the way real quick. You guys have any questions for me? Uh, not right now. I don't think so. We covered it's a everything. lot of information, but yeah. I'm sure we'll be watching this you know over where, again and YouTube as well. You know, and, you know, it's it's. I can sit here and tell you how to use this all day. It's all about what you're. Until you, yeah. You have to actually come in here. Like when I when, when you guys get home, what I would do is I I I plug it in. You mess around with it. Exactly. Yeah. That's the only That's way you can figure things out. You know, I can tell you how to use it all day. I showed you how to use everything, but it's all about. You wrapping your head around what thing is for what, when yeah. you're going to use it, that kind of thing. Because there's two different types of camping. There's dry camping or there's full hookups. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and from the sounds of it, sounds we do like a lot do. of dry camping. <laughs> yeah, that's and, and, which is cool because I do the same thing too. But uh, we have a 42 foot. This will probably fit in, the, in the garage in the trailer. <laughs> but we 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 go to like Pismo, the desert stuff like that because we have dirt bikes and quads and side by side and stuff like that. But if you're like we 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 off grid camp too. But the only thing is we have a generator. Without a generator, you, you can't do it. You're like a fish out of water. Yeah. yeah, you have no AC, and in the desert, it's hot as shit in the daytime. It's yeah, cold. at nighttime, it's very cold. Uh, but other than that, uh, what we're gonna do? Let me get this out of the way, and then we're gonna put this table down, and then we're going to start dropping walls and close it up. Nice. And then, we'll, then after that, we'll go look at the car. Okay. okay. All right. cushion that we're resting on, lift it up real quick. This one? It's the bottom one. And then now we're just going to set it right here. And it's got Velcro too, so it won't fly up. That's it. Now if you're going to make it a bed, that one or that one. Right here. Oh, in the middle. And then this one will go right next to it. There you go. You'd be surprised it don't work the other way. Oh, really? I swear. <laughs> okay, and then of course the microwave, we didn't really talk about the microwaves there though. Microwave, there ain't nothing special about it, it's just a regular microwave. But you do have TV hookups on YouTube, okay? Yep. <laughs> Alright, you guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. This is the RV we just picked up uh, right here. The, um, what's this? The A, a line of Rockwood. Um, what's the? A frame. A frame, right? The A frame? A122. A122, that's the model, the one that we just bought. And this is our, our technician right here. His name is Clay. Hello. Clay is the one that uh, gave us the introduction, the run around, and then he gave us everything that we could have. Took care of everything. Thank you, Clay, for that. You're welcome. And then um, if you guys have any questions, come to Clay. Clay has everything that he can you. possibly give you the answers to. <laughs> At the um, best RV center in Turlock. This yep. is Turlock, California. So give him a shout out. Clay, thank you. Thank you so much for that, Clay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Congratulations. When we come back. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. All right, so. We're gonna, if you have any questions, we will give you a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys have any questions, give me a call. Give Best RV a call. Ask for me if you have anything. No questions, a stupid question. So, yeah. 
If you have a question, call and ask. Okay? Awesome. Thank yeah. you. You're Appreciate welcome. It. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Well, thank you. All right, babe. That is the RV you just purchased. We just purchased it. Got to. All right. So this is the A-frame. We're gonna collapse it. And we're gonna re-collapse it back and then put it back together. All right. Still hot. All right. So you see. All you gotta do is just collapse it from the latches from here. So the first thing you wanna do is collapse this one down first. This comes down. So now you got this guy. Babe, don't forget to latch that. So after you unlock the latch, get the door in peace. Open this right here. Babe, put the door on the outside. Yeah.